Next item on the agenda is discussion, consideration, and possible action on results of the speed study on Camelot authorized by the City Council on approval of ordinance uh, setting the speed limit. I count uh, Chief Martin. Yes, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Uh, I guess we have got my report on what the results were to the speed study. Uh, well, the 85 percentile was 28 when you're headed westbound and 16 on eastbound. Of course, 16 is going to come out of the S curve. So, uh, recommendation that uh, be changed to 20 miles an hour with the 15 advisory speed on the curve. Okay. Any questions from council? So just to kind of get a visual, the the westbound is they're coming from Texas Drive through the S curve, mm -hmm. or is that the eastbound? That's eastbound. That's the eastbound. No, so going from the inside of the King uh, Arthur Court. Yeah, from like King Arthur Court and stuff heading out to Texas Drive was the westbound, which was. Which was 28 miles an hour was what was clocked there. Okay. Councilwoman Lindsay, did you have a question? Uh, so let me make sure because in the recommendation, my make sure I'm reading the ordinance correct. We will set a straight speed limit at 20 miles an hour through there all round. Okay. Yes. That's fine. I just wanted to clarify. Any other questions from council? Was that suggested 15 on the corner? It was a uh, uh, an advisory sign. Okay. That's coming down the hill. No, that's within Camelot itself. Oh. And now they develop at Camelot. There's a yeah. zigzag kind of, and then they have a nice little straight away. Yeah. Councilman Jones. Through the expense of signs, do we need the 15 mile an hour advisory sign or, or do you recommend one or do we have to have it? Or? Chief, what were your thoughts on that? Uh, I can't enforce. I can't write a ticket on advisory speed. But, so that's kind of y'all you want to put signs up there or not. It's, so I, more I think they have to slow down to 15 that will curve around there. Yeah, uh, you pretty much, I mean, if you take that curve at more than about 15 miles an hour, uh, you're really pushing it and you're asking for trouble. Should we need to spend a couple hundred dollars on a couple signs? Or it would be, yeah, the speed limit signs, and those are enforceable. On those, yes. Yes, on those, the advisory. And it pretty much, unless the council wants to put the advisory sign. Um, any other comments, questions from council? Comments, questions from the audience? Yes. Please come to the podium, state your full name. Uh, my name is Danielle Elliott, and I live at 203 Camelot Street in the neighborhood. Um, I would like to say 20 miles an hour, still too fast. There are oodles and oodles of small children in our neighborhoods, and they're everywhere all the time. Majority of the time, there are not adults out watching them. We have many teenagers in our neighborhood, including two of my own who drive. Many of the teenagers in the neighborhood drive, and they go fast. Uh, I'm constantly telling my children, 10 miles an hour is probably fast enough because those children dart out on bicycles and trikes and they're running. Um, if, if we're thinking about 20 miles an hour with a 15, um, around corners, I would think it would make more sense just to, across the board, 15. It may seem very slow, but that neighborhood is not very big. It doesn't take very long to get in and out of that neighborhood. And my biggest concern is we're going to have a, a child killed, hit. We've had animals hit in there because they run out. Um, it's The roads are not very wide. There's lots of children. Um, I don't know how many of you drive through there to look at the new houses and things, but there's always children playing outside, and they're in the street. So, and um, Ms. Elliott, I don't know if you were at the council meeting where this issue initially came up um, with respect to it was actually a petition to um, put a second way out, another road out. Okay, um, and. 
There are only certain options that the city can exercise. We did look because some of the people did talk about the speed in Camelot being a concern. And we, um, the only option that we have because the standard speed limit us otherwise posted is 30 miles an hour was to do a, a, a study which Chief Martin had done. And then there are, correct me if I'm wrong, there are certain levels and parameters that you have to meet which only allow the speed limit to be lowered to a certain point. Um, so, what am I, Chief, can you kind of join in and help to explain why this is basically beyond our control? We've met the certain threshold, yeah. but... Just uh, going by what TxDOT has been using for several, several years, that that's what they've been going by, They're using that 85 percentile. Of course, most of the time that's done on the state highway that's coming into a city or out, outside, but that's kind of the formula that they've put together and been using for a year or so. But again, the city can, you know, set it any, any, if they make an ordinance that it's 15, uh, that's perfectly legal if they want to do that. But I was is, under the understanding that we had to have a study to support that. Uh, they kind of went both ways on that. He, at one time, he told me that, that that's what they go by, the, the study. But he said the city council has direction to set whatever they want. If there's ordinance, then you can have it. So I've kind of got both directions, but both of us answers on that. Okay. So we may have to check that a little bit further. Um, but we know that right now the study definitely supports going to 20 miles an hour. Councilwoman Ramsey. Well, that's what I was looking at because in here it says um, some of the criteria that are listed. It lists a minimum of 125 cars in each direction at each station where, and we did bring have an outside group come in and do the study, and and uh, it's available to anyone that wants to look at it. Um, and based on the study, the 20 was. Was Any other comments from audience? Questions? Council? Well, I'm trying to, on page 306 in this uh, study right here with uh, westbound, which is going in, correct? Right. Going out? Going, going out. out. Going out. Oh, yeah. That's so you're looking at 16 to 20 mile an hour, total hours 15. Uh, there's a six between 16 and 20, but and then the lowest, the second lowest is four, which is below right 21 to 25. You want to you want to reduce the speed. I mean, my 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 area where I live in is 20 miles an hour, and I still think it's too fast. And I have bumps in my road. And, and, and that was previous, but I would I'd be inclined to someone come up here and talk about it. And I mean, the report signifies that this is the current speed we wanted to reduce, so we're going to move left. And which is which is what it's doing currently. It's thirty miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. And this, but based on this study, mm -hmm. um, it shows that the speed can be reasonably reduced down another 10 miles an hour to 20 miles an hour instead of 30. <coughs> any other comments, questions from yeah. council? Is there any other kind of uh, signage that we could put up there, like uh, children at play or, no, or yeah. caution, uh, uh, you know, watch your speed or some, something along uh, those lines that, that could also have an impact? Two hundred plate. I mean, some some people read those signs. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that would help. Okay. Yeah. Any other comments? And that would be at the entrance coming into. Yes. And can you put those red uh, bar barrier, uh, you know, uh, borders around around the twenty minute twenty, 20 <coughs> mile? In the sign. Yes, uh, city two sign. This one, okay. I don't see why we, why they wouldn't be able to. Come out like we have on the state highway. Yes, I mean just 
shows up. Makes it more visible. Yeah. And how many say would be two signs posted in the development? One coming from inside the development and one in three. Any further questions? I would just warn any citizens that all the speed limit signs in the world doesn't mean there's complete safety. Okay. So I wouldn't think, well, my children are safe now. Mm -hmm. There's a 15 mile per hour speed limit sign. Mm -hmm. because I live on a street that's already 20. It's got the sign that says children at play. Mm -hmm. And it's exactly. still going more than 20. Mm -hmm. It's only as good as a can be there to patrol or I guess the neighbors can run out. Well, the other aspect is that the neighbors, you know, talking to their their teens and their and themselves. I would assume primarily <laughs> this area is probably the people there only. You don't have that much street traffic anyway. Since it's it's all neighbor. Yeah, I would say. I mean, primarily I'm it's sure the people neighbor. sight city go drive through. Right. right, and they go slow. They're probably, probably going to be going slower, slower than. Right. The, it's probably going to be your own neighbors that will be speeding. That's more exactly slowly. right. <laughs> yes. Someone else. Yes, homeowners and teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> and and you know, um, government can only do. So much and at some point people need to take responsibility for their own actions so do i have a motion to authorize uh, lowering it would be approving ordinance numbers city secretary do I need a number for that 17.02.13b i'm sorry 17.02.13b B. B as in boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do I have a motion to approve ordinance number 17.02.13B? It's an ordinance uh, approving the reduction of the speed limit uh, in Camel on Camelot Street in, in Glen Rose, Somerville County, from 30 to 20 miles an hour. I'll make that motion. I have a motion from Councilman Mitchell. I have a second. I'll second that. I have a second from Councilman Moore. Councilman Moore? Yes. Councilwoman Ramsey? Yes, ma'am. Councilman Mitchell? Yes. Councilman Jones? Yes. Councilman Marquez? Yes. The motion passes 5-0 in favor.